Hello everybody and welcome back to more End of the Gungeon! Farewell to Arms Lich Streak. Today is a special, potential special day. Because we are on a Lich Streak of 299. If we win today, you can do the math. That's 300. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool if we were on a streak of 300. And you know what? We are... Boo if you want, we are not rolling the D8 today. Because we are going to pick the character that has the highest chance of failure. Why would I do that to myself? I am not so sure, but we're going to do it. We're going to give ourselves the robot. No D8 today. The D8's just a construct. It's not part of the streak. It's just something I did so that I wouldn't have to... Uh, so that I don't have to make decisions. I could really just be playing the, uh, the gunslinger the whole time if I really wanted to. But, you know, I am not that kind of guy. We're going to make it harder for ourselves, if anything. We're going to say, who is the most likely to get us a loss and thus, you know, create the most interesting potential narrative? I think that that might be the robot today. A loss would be, uh, you know, a big deal. 300, 300 lich kills in a row on the street would be, you know, 299 so far. This would be 300. Might as well make it so I do have to prove myself, you know? Might as well make it so it's not just a, a freebie gimme. Like, we could have rolled a die, could have got a... Could have got a, a two. Arguably, even a one is a, is a, a freebie gimme. I'd say less so. You know, getting the Paradox is less so a freebie gimme than the Gunslinger. But but yet, here we are. Yes, I know we could make it even, even harder for ourselves in some other kind of crazy way. I know, I know. I'm well aware. But we're not... We're not gonna like. <laughs> we're not gonna change up the complete rules of the streak and just have done a uh, a turbo run right now. That just not doesn't interest me. Not, doesn't interest me in a couple in a couple ways. Like maybe we'll do a turbo run here or there. I feel like when we hit episode three or not episode three hundred three hundred in the streak, maybe we'll take a take a couple days to do some some things we haven't done in a while. Per chance, per chance. You know. So. uh... Consider this, like, I already, uh, of course I got some ideas already, and there's some obvious ones. For a couple, a couple episodes uh, of a break of doing some different things. But definitely comment down below, consider this a call to action. If you have a specific thing you would like to see, specific mode, not necessarily, like, unique crazy challenges. Although, if you've got those, do join the Discord and leave those in there, in the suggestions channel. Feel free to do that, do, to do that there. But I'm just talking like, uh, what kind of what kind of basic modes you want to see? Like cha between challenge mode, turbo mode, et cetera, et cetera. Bless blessing. Just give me give me your uh, your ideas for ones you'd be most excited to see nowadays. And we will uh, we'll maybe do a, a handful of episodes, probably not more than a week of doing some some really out there things. And keep in mind, Rainbow Run Day Sunday is indeed still a, very much a, a thing. We're going to be doing that every once and once a week, every week on the Sunday. We're going to be doing ourselves a rainbow run. All of this is like not meaning a whole lot to people who are new to the channel. If you've popped in on this one, I don't know. Like, who the thing is, like, when the video starts, who knows uh, what we got really going on? Like, I don't know if I don't know if this is going to be one where it's like going to be one of the more viral ones where something crazy happens. Who knows? So I'll just say, hey, if this happens to be one of those and you are new here, I upload Gungeon every single day. I upload roguelikes and more every single day, so do consider subscribing, I guess. Might as well f flap that call to action there four minutes in. Why, the <laughs> Why not, you know? Why not? Hello, hello. I feel like most people watching this are subscribed at this point, though. S just probably statistically. I definitely want another key. The question is if we are going to junk. I think I'm gonna. The brown chest, they could have something amazing, but I'll take the 5% and then put our key economy in a great spot. All right. Find the boss with 5% damage up on our starter. It's okay, you know. Why? What is... What? What? is happening what was that oh my god that was terrifying okay okay 
Is that gonna keep happening? I mean, I, I'm assuming you guys saw that too. That weird, bizarre, complete GameStop right there. And not not GameStop the company, RIP. <laughs> Preliminary, preemptive RIP. But the uh, the game stopped itself right there against every. But it was just like every time I looked at him, it's like it's like he was a Medusa, but for R like an IRL Medusa. Oh, 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 sorry, Gorgon. Bye bye, bye bye. All right, no frame stopping. Okay, well, and just like that, we good. We good. I said, Bloop. go down here. Not that this, the thing is, this doesn't make the run harder. This makes the run easier. It truly, truly does. The hardest part of the run is getting the darn ward barrel to hit the darn thing. How about that? Okay, so down we go. We got two keys. Feeling good about, you know, what we got brought down here. Okay, chamber. What is this? Poisons? Weird to have a poisoning gun on the sewers of all places. Like, it makes sense thematically, but a lot of the enemies cannot be poisoned. That being said, it's way better than our starter. Or, yeah, it's, it's significantly better, but not like, it, I guess it doesn't blow my mind. I never use this one. Alright. <laughs> that sh that shouldn't have worked, but I was just like I was in a situation where I had to either dodge to the left and accept that I was gonna take a hit, or just uh, do the the salty run back there, go try again basically. Poison and electrocuted? Why not, man? Why not? Definitely does like a little explosion poof, which is super cool to look at. I don't think it actually does the explosion effect, unfortunately. I mean, that'd be crazy. That would make it significantly better. Hmm. It is nice to have the bomb to get into secret rooms without using blanks. That that alone makes it, like, not a bad choice, truly. Not a bad choice at all. Bip, 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 bip. We'll probably use a key and go in there and get that, even if I don't really feel like doing the Abbey. Too easy. Too easy of a run if we go to the Abbey, you know? Too much, get too much stuff. Okay. Okay. What did we just crit? We crit somebody in this room, even though we weren't even in it. Just keep shooting at the wall, hoping for a crit, maybe. Nothing. Okay. Keep critting when we don't really need it. Like when they're already already effectively done -zo. Blip, 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 blip. This one's growing on me. I think maybe I was hard on it. I know we only have a 5% damage up, but we do have to keep that in mind with it, I guess. I mean, especially because a lot of... A lot of times there's these little... These guns that... They do like maybe one damage or two damage too little to one shot the enemies. If you give them a 5% damage up, they suddenly seem a lot better. You know, it's just the number. It's like, say, say a bullet can takes, I, I don't know the exact numbers. Say a bullet can takes 10 damage and your shots do nine. Your shots could basically be doing five anywhere from five through nine. And it wouldn't matter. You get a 5% Wow, I am so happy I got hit there. You take a like a 5% damage up, or a 10%, I mean, okay, fine. 10% damage up so that it does 10 damage instead. A little more than, okay, what is it? What would it be, 12% damage up? Something like that. Okay, fine. Math is hard. Math is hard. And then, uh, and then it's a one-shot. It makes it way different, you know? That means a lot more. Okay. You know, it's not useless. Ain't useless. It's not useless. It's not great, but not useless. I'm surprised that the Pooplons can actually be poisoned. 
I wish we could get something that would let us carry this onto the next floor, because I'm actually kind of digging it. I, I don't use it, but, you know, I've been hard on it, especially on other floors. If we could carry this to another floor, it'd be a banger. It'd be a banger, because way less poison, poison resistant enemies would be uh, in our face. I love how the only time we got hit this run is a time where we, uh, we opened up a secret room with a red chest in it. Thus making it an amazing play in theory. You know, like, an accidental play, but an amazing play nonetheless. Right, obviously, we want a lot of coolness to go with our Vorplin. Our Vorplin. Whoop. What am I going to name my firstborn daughter? Vorplin. In the hopes that she... Well, what would happen? She would, she would start off being awful and, uh and be horrible and ruin my eyeballs somehow. I don't know how. She'd be ugly. She'd start out ugly, destroying my eyeballs. And then uh, and something would change. And she'd just be changed, and then uh, the rest of her life, she's fantastic. And I, and then I love her. You know, after after uh, Dondrel patches her her <laughs> ugliness, apparently. My daughter can be, can be ugly. That's okay. Because, I, I don't know, I feel like people, like... Can you, can you really think your child's ugly? How many people actually think their children are ugly? Like, because I feel like, I don't know. Does it, it does it, first, the big question is, does it matter? No, like it doesn't matter if they're ugly or not. And ugly is subjective. And I think most parents like probably don't think their child's ugly. Um, at least none would say anything at the very least. Oh, except for my parent. No, that's not true. Don't want to, don't want to spread lies. Don't even want to finish the sentence for, for a sound bite. I was never directly called ugly by my parents. Whoop, bip, 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 oh, I'm gonna miss you, gun. I'm gonna miss you, baby. These bullets are so slow. Thank you for the liquid milk, baby. Alright. Thank you for the armor, too. Ooh, ooh, easy at my birthday. The game said we honor, we, we think it was very honorable that you uh, decided to go for the robot today. We know that you, that everybody knows it's the most likely you'll get bopped. I'm not saying I thought I'd get bopped, I'm just, but I think it's, it's crazy to think that any character is more likely for you to lose, despite loving the character and thinking he's great. You know, I just, uh, hold on one moment. I didn't pull up my questions beforehand. Uh-oh, there's a storm outside. There's a storm. You hear that one? Holy moly. All right, where were we with the questions? Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. Hopefully we don't get, uh, get bopped by a storm in the middle of the 300th. Would that count as a loss? No, but still, I don't want to get bopped. The patience is challenging. Okay. Got an accuracy up on this sucker. Oh my god, look at that. Ooh. Ooh, it's, it's satisfying. It's satisfying. It's electrifying. It's basically just shooting one bullet. Basically, just shooting one chonky bullet. Beep, bap, boom. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Using the chamber gun in ways that I uh, I have not been. Duct tape. Ah, how dare you? Maybe we'll do the rat. Not that it makes the run harder or anything, but I just you know I like going to the rat, and I feel like it's maybe been a couple days. I feel like it's been a, maybe maybe two days or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't keep track. There's too many of these darn things. Too darn many of these darn things. Would you die? I want to get the drill. Probably one of my favorite favorite parts of this gun. I mean, obviously, my favorite favorite part is the fact that it's super OP on bullet hell. I, I, I'm a little ashamed of that. But also, I wasn't going to go to the Abbey anyways. And now we, uh, now we really can't. 
Now we really, really don't want to. Oh wait, no, no, wait. I should be saying, oh no, I'm. So, this was gonna be the one where I. Oh shoot, I was gonna go. Oh. All right, we do want to wait until we get a key. We can see if we can maybe wait and get enough money to buy the rat key and the regular key. Before we start potentially junking stuff, you know? I know it was already on that chest is unlocked, and a lot of people a lot of people get really upset by junking unlocked brown chests. Here's the thing, it's like what's the scenario? If it has if it has finish gun or holy grail in it, I don't really want them anyways because they're too strong holy grail is like actually not even as strong on the robot but i don't really even want them they're too strong too darn strong so i will i would happily junk those for a five percent damage up because you know what it does it makes it so every other chance or every other gun has a slightly higher chance to shine you know especially with uh plus one bullets oh, my screen tilted wrong with plus one bullets and all this damage up that you could get from junk, can go a long way. There's that, which we cannot do. Boosh him. <laughs> Bizarre. Bizarre. Shouldn't have done it. And two shot bot. Loving it. Alright. Let's answer a Discord question or show why don't we? Well, I do a little bit of a stretch. Alright. Tyrone asks, do you think you'll do a Streets of Rogue series? Um uh, my my interest in it is like it, it keeps going up and down. Like I, I'm kind of Kind of interested in it now, but the point weird thing is like I waited too long to be kind of kind of interested in it. And now it doesn't make nearly as much sense to even do it. Because it's getting later and later, and people will say they'll watch it, but they won't actually, you know. I, I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe. I I played it a little bit before it was officially released, and I just I wasn't really that into it. But then I watched some other people playing it, and I was like, okay, there, there's some interesting systems at play here that I found kind of interesting. It's like, it's weird. I don't know. It's a very strange game. I I, I might. I'll gauge interest. If you if you want to see me play it, let me know in the comments. No, don't not if you want me to see me play it. If you promise that you would actually watch, comment down below that you would want to see that. Just depend it on to your other comment about uh, what you would want to see out of the, out of the other, uh, the rest of the series here moving forward at past the 300 win streak. What you what you want out of the uh, coming days? Oh my God, please! No, no! Better not. You better not. <laughs> okay. Not even terrifying. And we did get a key. Great. So we should have an extra 15% chance to find junk. Doesn't mean we're guaranteed to find junk. Which means we got a little bit extra. Keep me junking, baby. Keep me junking, baby. All right. On to the next. We could have bought another key, but I think we're going to junk a lot of stuff today. I think we're junking a lot. Wah, wah, ah, uh, ah, uh. bonk! I'm surprised you even lived. I touched him for just a half second. I, and I'm still only shocked. Shocked he didn't even get bopped. Probably shouldn't be using this version. Should be using like, should be using this still. I think right now. Actually, mine cutter. Mine cutter is probably the way to go. Truly. Good damage, good ammo efficiency. I mean, we got all the buffs, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be wrecking things. Oops, what am I doing? Getting a double kill. That's what double kill. Locked, sh not shot. Locked. Uh, hmm. Winchester. Interesting. Interesting. 
Interesting. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That makes my choices a lot easier. Because we, otherwise we'd have to... Uh, I mean, this is our room right here. We might as well... Get it on out of the way. Dancing on the dust. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This is a very sim similar aspect of a question here. These are effectively... These maybe should just be worded slightly differently and go in the suggestions channel, truly. But uh, Darren the Crate asks... Will you play Spelunky 2 when it comes out? The answer is a resounding yes, absolutely. I'll probably do some, like a little bit of a, maybe I'll do a mini Spelunky series to do like a lead up to Spelunky 2 or something. Might be kind of, kind of interesting because I, I have minimal experience with Spelunky. I like it a lot. Like, in fact, I, I love it. I think it's, you know, uh, one of those games that's effectively a perfect game, you know, but I, I have not played like a ton of it. I'd like to play more. I know I mentioned before, but I th I went as far as to one. What did he get hit by? Is that a bat? I'm confused. It looked like I got hit by poison, but I'm poison immune, so that shouldn't be the case. Help. Take my blood, please. All right. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Love piercing weapons. Dig it, dig it. But yeah, Splunky too. I think you can. I think you can get that as a as a guaranteed, almost almost guarantee. Uh, and to, to double answer, triple, quadruple answer the question that I get all the time. Am I going to play Silk Song? Absolutely. And to answer the follow-up that I do need to answer all the time as well, I've already played Hollow Knight. So I'm not going to... No, I'm not going to do a series on Hollow Knight because I've already... I have a completed series on Hollow Knight. It is one of the... If you go to my channel and you scroll... It is literally right at the top in the, uh, the little playlist collection that says... Uh, good places to start. <laughs> it's my completed Hollow Knight series is like the third or fourth one on there. So, for those of you who keep continue to ask me to, to play Hollow Knight, check it out. I already have. It's a very very good game, and I do love it. But like, getting, it's the thing. It's one of those things where now that I'm getting asked to play it so often, it's like making me like the game less, which sucks because I loved the game. You know, it's just. It's that thing where it's it's not that I, you know, like with, with Fortnite or whatever the hell, like you just, you go about your day if you hear about it all the time, even if you, even if you like it, I, I don't know, I feel like it can, it can grate on you, you know, over time to hear about something too much. And it's not like being, not like in a ooh, hipster kind of way, you know, but it's just more like a, I just, people like to hear, hear about different things, you know? I like to hear about different things. Sue me. And I love Hollow Knight, and I think it's an amazing game. When it came to Switch, everybody told me to play it. But I already had. I played it on PC. Really. Really. If you shoot it off the green, it doesn't even lose a bounce. Is that what's happening? Oh, no, green is the ones that break. What am I talking about? I'm just going fast here for the hell of it. All right. I'm just going to fake it anyways. They all junk the same. They all junk the same. What do we... Do we have the ability to buy some ammo? No. Okay, so Vorpal with a hint of drilling it is, depending on the boss. Ah. I don't think this is a drill boss. But the fun thing is we can just keep firing around the pillars if we get a crit. Why do I feel so slow? Why do I feel so slow? Rest in peace. We do want to try to hit him because the uh, the bullets. <laughs> These poor things. Maybe I feel slow because the bullets are slow, but that doesn't make a lot of sense. How can our eyes be slow if our bullets aren't slow? 
crit you through the wall. Nope. I swear you can. We're just getting luckier with the non-wall crits. Yay! Wall crit for the KO! KO, KO, KO! We do get to keep the drill. I was actually worried about it. Silencer is quite nice. We have blank. We don't have any blank. So we are out of here. We don't have great weapons for the rat fight, I suppose. Well, no, that's a, that's a lot. We, we got good stuff that'll be filled up with ammo. We don't have great weapons for the floor leading up to the rat fight, is what I should have said. Hi! Boy, oh boy. And it's another Discord question. Derp Face Cake asks, what is your favorite way of eating an egg? Fried, poached, boiled, half-boiled, scrambled, omelet, or insanity, aka raw with a shell? I hate eggs. <laughs> I hate eggs. My favorite way, if I have to eat them, especially out of all those, is, is as an omelet. If I have to eat them in a way, like, and not in a cop-out way where I'm saying, like, as an ingredient in pancakes or something, you know, like... The, uh, the answer I'd say is it has to be an omelet. Like, you gotta, you gotta slap, like, so much cheese on there that I'm effectively eating cheese, cheese with eggs, and not eggs with cheese, you know? Up, down, right. But, I've had okay uh, omelets, I've had okay quiche, but I just, generally I hate eggs. As their own thing. I've tried them, tried them, like, all the time. I, like, basically every year. Up, down, right. Basically every year I go back to Trime, and I I think that's a good way to do do things, you know. It's not like I just uh, you know tried them when I was a kid, and I like I hate eggs still because I didn't like them when I was four, you know. Right. Down up, it's I, I try them again every year. Slowly they they bother me less and less, but they still bother me. Uh, there's some are gonna get through. I knew it. I knew it. Bother me less and less, it still bothers me. Effectively, is where I'm at with that. Bang, bang, boom. Bring it on, goon. Okay. We know how he starts, so we can get a lot of free damage off. Crazy. This is insane. What am I do what am I doing? Why did I do it? More importantly, why did I get away with it? That is crazy, man. What a quick, clean, easy peasy, breezy, beautiful fight. Wow. Really? We shouldn't be doing that. I thought I could get away with it, but we're going to be in trouble. We're going to be in trouble if we uh, we mess around too hard. Just let the poison do the talking, I'd say. Yeah, it's just like not even doing as much as I'd want. And the water does not even go under him. Gotta be careful with the uh, the Vorpal crits. Because they may actually make some dodges harder. Especially with the slow down bullets. Hey oh! We learned from last time there a little bit. Throw down the water even though we don't get any value out of it, I don't believe. All right, use it up, use it up. With the slowdown bullets, we should be able to have a very easy time with this. Uh, dodge too close, Icarus. Bada bing, bada boom. Easy, freaking money. Beep. Beep. 
Stop it. There we go. Yoink. Spice, you say. Turtle problem, you say. I like where this is going, I say. I say, I say, I say, I say. Rupa! I'll take a poison bullet, too. Why not? Poison on, poison on, poison on, poison. Was that the cleanest, easiest rat punch out I've ever seen? I think so. That was insanely quick. I learned, baby. I learned. You remember the days where that gave us so much, so much issue? Not no more. Not no more. All right. Do we become the rat? No. Oops. That was a mistake. I don't think so. I don't think we become Monsieur Rat. Honestly, I don't even know if I want the uh, the boots. Because we're so fast already. Ah! We're so fast, I think it's going to cause actual problems for us. Twitch Sub Sly asks, Is it pronounced Rito or Rito? Actually, it's pronounced Rito. Please get it right. It's pronounced Rito, not Rito. It's pronounced Rito. You would, a lot of people would think and right and logically so that it's pronounced Redo as a short of uh, retromation, but it's not. It's just Rito. I I've always thought of it that way in my head, and the person who made up the nickname thought of it that way too. And it just it just sounds better. It sounds better. Rito sounds like a. It sounds like a little name, you know? Reddo does not to me. I mean, neither of them really do, but it's, yeah, it's just more of a, it's more of a fun nickname when it's said like that, in my opinion. I don't know, it just was, and for those, for the inevitable follow-up, for those who have not heard, like, why is it a thing? Truly just because Retromation is, it sounds like a business, and it's too long, we're crazy, man. We're going all in. Junk it all. Sounds like a business. And retro as a shortening. I don't know. I just... A lot of... Truly, truly, it always stuck with me. Um, like, a couple people would prefer to call me the full name Retromation because they didn't like how the word retro rolled off their tongue. One of the be people being, like, Etheron. And that's stuck in my head. So I just... It's Rita. And it's fun. And you know what? Like a fun little perk that's come from it. And I'm, you know, I hate that. Not trying to throw anyone under the bus or, or make anybody feel feel bad or something like that. But it's like, it's become a really easy, quick way to know how, how uh, developed and into my YouTube community or Twitch community the person is, you know? It's, it's kind of an interesting little little tidbit way to, to get the, some knowledge there. And like to the point where when I get press emails, when I get press emails, uh, two thousand points to anybody who who starts the uh, the email with "Hey Rito," because I'm like, okay, they either actually know who I am or they have actually done their research, and I think that's you know, like two two thousand points, two thousand points to them, and it really it goes a long way, you know. It makes it clear that it wasn't just a copy paste, or if it was a copy paste, it was some copy paste with some some actual effort. That kind of thing. It's it's uh, it originally just started because I thought, you know, like a lot of people always have always wanted a nickname or whatever like that, and Retromation in theory already is, but it's just it's it's four syllables. It's too long, too long. Also, it sounds like a company. Ah. I want it. I want that. We do have the ability to... We should have brought all the darn rat stuff to sell. I don't like doing that. It feels it feels cheaty. It feels cheaty, breezy, beautiful. Uh, what was I getting at? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it was just it was just for nickname reasons. And then slowly it 
I found like little weird little benefits. No, the turtles are getting electrocuted. Weird little benefits to having a nickname like that. Such as, you know, being able to quickly quickly determine out, you know, when uh, when someone's actually looked at my stuff. Or looked at it for a long period of time or whatever, you know. It's neat. It's neat. I, I never, never thought about that. Not to say that people who watch my stuff can't just call me retro and not know who I am. And it's just, you know. I'm sure you can get what I'm pick pick up what I'm putting down. Screw all these items. Who needs them? Yeah, we'll get rid of that. I know it's not bad, but it's just gonna give us a lot of money. I would like to get Helix Bullets bad, but I don't think I don't think it's gonna work out. don't see it working out. Speaking of not working out, why why did I start that with the drill? Oh, my turtles. Oh, my poor baby turtles. Oh, my poor baby turtles. It's so dangerous. It's so dangerous! Ah, you got to be kidding me. I tried so hard to make it work. I had to see, though. I had to see. Stone Dome. That's actually going to be a sell for me, dog. Let's sell the pillow. We don't need anything other than this stuff, right? We have enough money yet? No. We're going to have to sell something else. Uh, sell the dog boots. That's enough. That's enough. Just like that. Loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Boy, oh boy. The Wiggly Hero asks, is a bottomless pit allowed to have a top? Uh, a pit's not allowed to have a top. A pit can have a cover, but it can't have a top. Right? Right? Hold on. Is a cover is a cover just a top? A cover's a temporary top. If a cover's a temporary top, if you put a lid on a bottomless pit, does the pit have a top? It still has a top, it's just covered. <laughs> a top doesn't have to be an opening. Wait, hold on. Okay. I think a bottomless pit can can have a cover, but not a top. But that's just because a pit can't have a top. Because of the whole idea of what a freaking pit even is. You know, that's that's I guess my thought. We're doing so much damage with all our stuff. We could even probably be killing it with our standard here. Yeah, we're killing it. Oh my god. Should actually be getting twice as many crits, if I remember correctly, too, from the helix bullets with this. If I remember correctly, it seemed to work that way before. Not, we just don't have a lot of coolness though, so it's just not gonna, not gonna make a lot happen. Get out of here! I said, get out of here, Mister. You got too much health. I mean, if we get enough money, we'll do it. More junk, more junk. Give me junk, no junkin'. We're definitely running out of ammo. Which is not great. Not great. But like I said before, we can definitely do good work with just our standards, so it's not a big deal. Thank you. I prefer ammo to a shield right now, though, by far. So we're going to run out, and we get rid of so much of our stuff. The thing is, we just need to get to bullet hell. 
need to get the bullet hell. That's it. Because the chamber gun's going to do its, its thing. If we don't have any other ammo except for the chamber gun when we get the bullet hell, we're just going to go for it, man. Alright, do we open it? We're this deep now. We're this deep now. We can't start opening them. It hasn't been a junkless or a, a, a It hasn't been a junkless run. Like it hasn't been an exclusively junk run either. We opened some things. We've opened very few things. We just gotten a lot of items. There we go. And just like that. Okay. Thanks. And then I think we can fill this up in the boss. Short. Probably should have filled up the other one because I think that the chamber gun fills it itself up just naturally. I think that's part of the weird quirk. I, it might be a bug. I don't remember. But if I remember correctly, it's still in the game. So we should be utilizing it. And whether or not it's a bug or intentional, who even knows, really. No junkin! No junkin! Don't know what's in there, either. Mm. Mm. Did that just blow up because of the turtle? We touched the turtle and went kapoof? That's seriously what happened there? Okay. And goodbye. Junkin, 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 junkin. Hey! What? I mean, just start gonna get enough money. That's just how it be. Balloon gun is probably the way to go. But we will fight the boss just to make sure we don't get enough money. We'll do. We'll at least do that. At least do that. Dang, we're fast. Poison in his neck. Oh, poor turtles. They don't stand a chance. No chance at all. What am I doing? Stupid. Stupid. It didn't end up mattering, but... Uh, okay. Why is it taking so long to break those? Oh! And... Nope. Thank you. We got five turtles left. For now. There's no way. They're gone. They're dead. They're done. No! Oh! Turdy, no! Turdy, no! I mean, this one's like literally easier, but in a way, sometimes when, they, when a weird phase gets easier, it makes your brain feel wacky and you dodge wrong. Not enough money. So what do we want to go for? Full metal jacket. Balloon gun makes the most sense. Definitely. Even though we get hit, we run out of ammo. That still makes the most sense. We'll use this sucker. Hopefully we do fill it up. Be really, really neat. We'll see, we'll see. It's at a thousand. Oh. Or rather, it's at full. Oh my god, and we're doing crazy damage. Thank you. Spawn the Lord of the Jam. See if I give a toot and a half. They're dying in like 
a millisecond. All these damage ups. Look at all that. Oh my god. Stop. They died just by the thought of me hitting them. Blip. It's so good. I can I will never know why this was allowed. Why was this allowed? Who signed off on it? Cuz thank you so much for allowing something this broken to be in the game. I know we have so many damage ups, but like it's not that different than this in a normal run, which is the hilarious thing. Just got to put them on the screen. Just put them on the screen, they're dead. Next. Hardest enemies because they have invincibility frames. Or invincibility. Whatever. Invincibility mode. Okay. No, oh, my turtles! They're the one thing I'm trying to protect here. You need to kill before, before the turtles show up. Oh, no. No! I don't know if they get hit by these. Definitely got hit. I don't know if they take damage or not, though, I guess. Next. That's a loop. Bullet house speed run. The damage up is definitely making it so we have to use less ammo, therefore making it so we can use it for more of the floor. More of the floor. Whoa. So I can ignore the enemies galore. I don't know if the turtle. I might have walked the turtles right into that R. Beep, 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 beep. So good. Thank you for the reward. This is the game saying, all right, you proved it. You proved it. You're fine. You got the 299 here. Take this 300 on a silver platter. Take it on a silver platter, baby. Bang, bang. Bing bang. All right. Not even halfway. All right, we we're just over halfway through our gun, rather, and we are way over halfway through bullet hell. Oh my god! It took no time at all. Let like a minute feels like. Open up. Goodbye. Open up. Everybody just open up. And Mr. Lich. You've seen this song and dance before. 300 times, in fact. Let's wait a sec, see how fast the hole. Looks like it's just as fast. So just do that. I mean, it's not just as fast, but it's like ammo efficient. Way more ammo efficient to do a tap shooting. Way more. Oh, it feels good. 300 streak, I can taste it. Unless my game crashes or a storm shocks my computer. It, the game tr did try to get me to stop right away on that Gatling gun fight. And I th was worried things would continue on with that. But it did not happen that way. And for that, I am pleased. Even this is wrecking him. Oh my god, everything we have is destroying. If we had Glass Cannon right now, it would maybe be a one shot. It would maybe be a one shot. And that is crazy. What is it? Look at what what is up with this plus helix bullets? They just keep going. They're like see you later bye. Oh look, the slowdown bullets actually make it so we can dodge that. Bye bye. You are done and gone, my friend. And that puts us on a streak of. 300 300 
three instances of getting a hundred kills in a row against the Lich without dying is where we're at today. That is spectacular, and that is going to do it for today. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and an extra special thank you to Aounsu for supporting on Patreon at the Go Team Gungeon tier. Anyone who's interested can join with a link in the description or just type it in patreon.com. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Do subscribe if you have not. Daily Gungeon videos. We are going to switch things up for just a little bit before we probably will inevitably go back to the streak super soon. Uh, but that's going to do it for now. Thank you, thank you. Join the Discord to ask questions that I'll answer in videos and follow on twitch.tv slash retromation. streaming every Monday slash Wednesday at 4 p.m. Central. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.